So today we are installing a 26.9 foot piece of carpet on a third floor condo. Uh, it's got furniture, it's got rip out. Uh, it's pretty serious carpet. Uh, I think we have the elevator on service. So we're gonna go take off in a minute and go check this out. Now we're going uh, sight unseen, so uh, you guys are gonna see it uh, for the first time when uh, we see it. So uh, we'll see you on the job. today this is the furniture that we're moving today I'm gonna come through in there finish off on the uh, J mold there and they pee and then they get get stuck in the pod sometimes humans pee and it gets stuck in the pod and then you never get it out like look at this you can scrape it all you want but you're never going to get rid of that all of that and if that has urine in it or water damage from a basement it's just it's always going to be here
I like to tape my seams. I don't like to glue them. This tape seems to be pretty good. We don't seem to run into any problems with crinkling or any sounds or noises. We've been using it for a while, maybe six years, seven years. We used to use masking tape. Masking tape doesn't last that long. Down really good and make sure that, you know, it's stuck to the, uh, to the pad. We use it for all our area rugs and everything. We've never had a complaint. Um, I know some of that cheaper tape, you, you know, if the glue starts to separate, it'll, it'll, you'll hear it when you walk on it and it crinkles, but, um, we'd way rather do this than, than put glue down and have the under pad stuck to the floor. And if anyone has any accidents, you know, animals or people, then all that stuff stays stuck to the floor. So with the tape, the next installer that comes in here to remove the carpet, just rolls it up, sweeps it up, and installs the new carpet. on the roof, Clarice. All right, guys. Now, I'm always talking about the carpet has a direction, so here we're gonna show you. See if you can get this on camera. You can see that it goes one way, and that's dark that way. It's light this way, it's dark that way. So, meaning the pile is standing up when it's dark, and when it goes like this, it's running in this direction, the way that water flows. So when we run this, we want you to walk into the room. When you walk into the room, we want you to walk into the room like this. So we want you facing that beautiful pile. So we're going to turn our carpet today counterclockwise. do is we're going to we cut the factory edge off over on this side we're going to stretch it and tuck it on the left and then we're going to cut it over here on the right cut it and tuck it because we've got furniture in half the room here so we've got to lock this half of the room in here and that half so we can move the furniture over to that side so we're going to take our trusty stretcher and we're going to start working on some of these bubbles here Nice. Now we're gonna lock it in over on this side. And that's how we lock a room up so that we can move furniture around. A little release cut.
a little lock here. Let's tighten this up here. Okay. We'll tuck it. And now you can see from that side to that side is locked in. But you can see there's a bubble in the middle. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We're gonna make our release cuts. We're gonna cut it down as much as we possibly can. If there's too much carpet, the pressure, when you kick it or stretch it, does not want to hook to the pins. So we'll try to cut it down as much as we possibly can. This is a carpet by Mohawk. It's called Sea Breeze, or the color is Sea Breeze. Uh, the style is natural artistry if you're looking for this particular style. They have a lot of great colors. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off all the extra, getting it ready to stretch. And I'm gonna do that all around so that once I do it, it's just locked into place. And then Rob will probably fine tune it. Okay guys, a lot of you guys asked me about the stretcher. Well, you guys are gonna get a chance to see it in action as Robbie films it. Let's get rid of that factory edge. We're all lined up there and ready to tuck. So Rob, as we're going and we're doing the stretcher, show the folks at home this bubble coming out. We do pretty good. Good, good. Just work the other side. So, whenever I do a room with the stretcher, I lock in the middle, one on the left, one on the right, then I shoot up to the middle, and then I go from right to left, left to right. Always bring out your bubbles into the corner. Now what I'll do is I'll go from where I had first stretched up to the far corner, and same with on that side, and that will take care of any bubbles that are left. See, we're bringing the bubble up here. You can see, see the bubble here, guys? We're bringing it up to the corner. Then we just loosen the corner off like that. And then we finish in our corner. And that's where a lot of you guys ask me, well, that thing makes bubbles. No, it doesn't. It actually takes bubbles out. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I understand if you've been using a kicker for years, it can be difficult to understand the technique. I grew up on this, so it's a lot easier for me to kind of get it. See, watch, we're gonna bring that bubble up to the corner. Oh, there she is. And then once it's in the corner, you're never gonna have a problem with that ever again. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to Rob, and Rob's gonna finish the install, and I'm gonna film Rob doing the install.
So he's left it about a quarter inch up all the way along. Top end is looking nice and clean. Clean like a whistle. Now what he just did there is he scored that line. He's gonna stick his blade in the line on a 45 and he's gonna cut right down through. Like just like that. Tuck it under, clean it out. Make sure there's no flowers, no hairs, looks great. So this one's a little longer, he's folded it back. He's leaving a quarter inch. Sometimes if there's too much, it's hard to score that in. So it's good, there's a couple different techniques you guys can see here. Somebody asked me the other day, it's like, can you tell me how you clean the blood off the carpet when you cut your finger with that box cutter? Trust me, he's not cutting his fingers. He may look close, but he's not cutting his fingers. It happens. We do use a thing called a Bloody Mary. But just because the camera makes it look like he's cutting his fingers, trust me, he's not cutting his fingers. Now, as you can see, it's all done. It's all clean. It's all vacuumed. The doors are back on. Uh, this carpet does show the foot marks and the vacuum mark. Some people like to see the vacuum marks because it makes them feel that the carpet is clean. That's it. I'm leaving with the masked bandit. Well, I'm all done. Home sweet home. That job was no fun, but you know what is fun? Is the things that come to greet me when I come home. Hi buddy, hi boys. Dressed in her best. Uh, halfway there, five minutes. What are you doing boys? What are the boys doing? What are you doing? Look at you. 
Look at a crazy dog. Hi. Hi. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. I love you too.